today we are going to bulk rename this whole directory full of native Excel documents and email files. We have over a thousand, we have 1,043 items in here, and it will take a long time to manually rename these. We are going to use this piece of software called File Renamer. I'm actually going to use the Pro version or the Deluxe version. It's all of $20, very economical piece of software, and it's written and supported by an independent developer. So, you know, if you can give them a little bit of money, that'd be awesome. So what we're going to do is first things first, we're going to open up our command prompt. We are going to run We are going to run this command, which is basically we are doing directory command. We're piping that directory command to an output, which is xsls csv files.txt. So that is already done. And we should have a file right here. So we're going to edit that one with notepad. So this should be a list of every file we have in here. How many files did we say it was? 100,043. Okay. So we are going to, I guess we could just do it all. And we're going to copy this into Excel. I could do this all in Notepad++, I could do this all in Excel, um, but I just find some of it is easier to do in Notepad++ and some of it's easier to do in Excel. And keeping it organized seems to be easier in Excel. So I'm going to come back to the very top here and I'm going to make sure my cursor is at that front line. And I am going to use the column editor today. I am going to first just insert a space dash space. Then I'm going to go back to my column editor. I'm going to start some numbers. So I'm going to start with 0, 09. I'm going to increase by 1. I'm going to repeat by 1. I'm going to add my leading zeros. We have over a thousand documents in here, so it is adding leading zeros for us. Then I'm going to finally go back to my column editor one more time, and I'm going to make this actually look like a base number. So now we have Bates numbers in the front of all these files. We're going to do a control all, control copy, and we are going to paste that into here. Okay, we're going to just delete this last line out so that the software doesn't get confused. And we are going to save as a CSV file. I'm going to hit save as right here. We're going to call it CSV. And we're going to go down and save it as a CSV. So comma delimited file. So some of our features might be lost. We don't care. And we are going to go here and we're going to edit this with Notepad++ again. And basically now we have a file, original file name, comma, new file name. We're hit OK, copy this. And we'll come back over here to our file renamer deluxe. So I'm going to go to my C drive and I'm going to select the folder XLS. I'm going to use the option to rename my list. Put my list in there. I'm going to hit validate list. There's a blank line, so this one file could not be located. It is what it is. There's a blank line. So for some reason, it won't let you delete it out. So I'm going to hit apply. I'm going to apply changes. Here, every one of my files has now 
successfully been renamed to the Bates number that we chose. All right, I hope this helps you out. Um, you can use these files, uh, this list, to do a few different things from here. We could make placeholder PDFs um, using Adobe or Foxit and using one of these files as the input parameter. We could make a log and say, hey, these are the files that we produced and here are the coinciding Bates numbers. We don't even have to use the full file name. We could have just called them Bates number whatever to whatever. It's a very powerful tool and it should be something that you use in your repertoire. Thank you very much.